Hello me TBDs, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be playing around with the brand new Tati Blendiful. I'm so excited to film this. I, this actually arrived yesterday, so I've been dying to sit down and film this. I have not seen any reviews. I have not seen anyone on here on YouTube use it yet. I've been really avoiding looking at review videos. Um, I just watched the video with Tati using it and this really intrigued me. Normally I'm someone who uses a beauty blender for all of my blending needs. So I'm not, like I have lots of brushes, but I typically do not use brushes to blend out liquid products. If I do use a brush, my favorite is the It Cosmetics Love is the Foundation Brush. This is the one that I use to blend foundation if I do end up using a brush instead of a beauty blender. I have definitely gotten in the habit of using a beauty blender I hate washing it. I hate having it be this whole thing where I have to like sit down and oh my gosh Speaking of washing brushes. I definitely need to wash mine. This intrigued me because I'm like how in the world can a puff Blend foundation and concealer and highlight and be something that you can use with powder to set everything down So I was very intrigued by this um, I'm very excited to use it if you guys like these types of videos where I get new products and review them for you Give this video a thumbs up so I know and don't forget to subscribe because I do upload every Monday Wednesday Friday at 5 p.m Mount Standard Time. So let's go ahead and hop into what this actually is this guy You get a big like a regular size blendiful and then a baby blendiful which actually she says on the packaging one blendiful and one baby blendiful. Um, this was $18. It says that it is the makeup applicator you didn't know you needed. It's a game changing soft textured fabric tool that is a blending dream. Seamlessly apply and soften both liquid and powder products. The rounded edges and pointed tip help to provide a perfect blend step to step in your makeup application. Buff and foundation with little product waste. Experience seamless contour, smoother concealer, and the most airbrushed powder application, even in those hard to reach areas of the face. Save product, save time, and become the expert artist of your own unique routine. However you choose to use the Blendiful, your look will be one with no harsh lines every time. We will see Tati. If you guys did not see, I did get and review the Tati Texture Neutrals palette, which I freaking love. Like that is a palette that is so worth it. So when I saw her come out with a second one, I was shocked because I was like, what? But then I was also very excited because I'm like, you know what? If she says it's good, I'm going to believe her because she said her palette was good and she came through and it totally was. So I'm going to trust her with this one too. This packaging definitely reminds me of her other, like her vitamin brand. What is that called? Halo Beauty. That's what it's called. So this reminds me of the Halo Beauty Revo package type design that they just came out with. So instead of sending you a brand new bottle, you do get something like this that has all of your vitamins in it. I have not tried Halo Beauty. I don't know how that is, but I'm eager to try out more from Tati Beauty. She does have step-by-step -step instructions on her website of how to use this. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Cause I was kind of wondering like how in the world am I gonna use this? And she laid it all out for me. So, which is awesome. So it says that you can start with primer. It says banish the appearance of pores and fine lines by using a pressing motion with a blurring primer. I do have a blurring primer. This is the pore saver matte makeup primer it is an oil absorbing and blurring primer but i really do think that the price for this is totally fair because a beauty blender costs like 30 bucks they're so expensive even if you get the cheaper ones they're still like not even comparable to the regular beauty blender and they're still kind of expensive if this can do the work of my beauty blender and then i can throw it in my wash with the rest of my clothes I already do a laundry anyway. It's not an extra thing I have to wash throughout the month. On the back, it says cleaning instructions. Machine wash and dry in, de in a delicate laundry bag or gently hand wash in warm, soapy water. When rinse thoroughly and blot dry. I don't have a delicate laundry bag. Maybe I should get one. It's real soft, guys. So here is, oh, it's on both sides too. Here is the Tati Beauty blendiful. So it has like a little thing on this side that you can put your hands in to blend and buff on this side. It is very, very soft. Ooh, this feels like a blanket. Then there is a baby blendiful, which I'm not exactly sure what this is for. Like, what is this one for? Is it the same as the bigger one? It's just a smaller size. I don't really know. Maybe you could take this one traveling. That would be a good one to use it with. So here is the size of the big one. Here is the size of the baby blendiful. So you can see this is definitely a lot bigger. 
Look at the size of my face. It like is half my face. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply, I don't know, do I apply it onto here? I'm unsure. Let me skew you guys a little bit closer and then we can get to testing out the product. I think what I'm going to do is apply this like and just put it on my skin and then use the Blendiful to further smooth it out. Let's take this right here. Maybe I'll use this baby Blendiful to do the primer. I can't really tell if this is like actually even doing anything. Like is this just picking up all of the product? Oh no, it is blending it. So soft. It literally is like rubbing a blanket on your face. Okay, you can definitely see that the Blendiful has been used. Like it kind of feels not as soft as it once did, but still pretty soft. Blended that out nicely. Let's take the big, beautiful, nope, I keep wanting to say that. I wanna take the big Blendiful. Today I'm gonna to use the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. So step two is easily glide on foundation with a sweeping or buffing motion to achieve a flawless and airbrushed look. I almost feel more comfortable with this because it's like so much smaller. I have feel like I have more control, but maybe I will have good control with this. Um, it looks like for foundation, she's using it this way. Like I was using it this way and she's using it this way. So maybe there's, I don't know. Okay, that's I'm gonna try it this way. That's what it looks like. Oh, feels like I am just like packing on the foundation. It feels so weird that this is blending. And I'm trying to make sure that it gets in my nose right here. So I'm taking the tip and just kind of blending it. I wonder how many uses you can get out of this before it starts to not like, before it starts to fall apart. In her video, Tati was also talking about having multiple of these. One for like a consistent powder blendiful and then one for a consistent liquid foundation type of thing so that she's not constantly having to use the same one for both liquid and powder. So far it looks really good. Feels odd like using this to blend out your foundation but it looks nice so far. See how it goes on the nose. My nose is always my problem area where it can look either too dry or patchy especially if I use a brush. That's one of the biggest reasons why I do not use a brush is because I can never get my nose to look good other than using a beauty blender. I mean, it is really a very pleasant makeup application. Like it feels really nice on the skin. I really do like that she put the point right here. This is primarily what I'm using this side to blend out my foundation, a sweeping or buffing motion. So that's what I've been doing, like just kind of sweeping. And I'm gonna apply just a little bit more to my nose. I definitely don't see any harsh lines. It looks so nice. All right, here's my skin with it applying the foundation. Definitely think it applied it pretty seamlessly, like very flawlessly. The only thing that I do notice is that I'm having to like squeeze my fingers out just a little bit when using this to keep my grip on it because otherwise it can just kind of come right on and off my hand. So maybe if I go like this, I don't know. How, what's the best way to do this? It just seems very large. Okay, so it did its thing with the foundation and I still have some left over, which is awesome. Usually that is the amount that I use with a beauty blender. So I can definitely see that it's not soaking up as much product, which I do like. I'm gonna take my CoverGirl Undercover Concealer, about as much as I take. Now let's see what she says for concealer. Use the pointed tip to easily lay down a smooth and even amount of concealer where precision is needed. I already laid it down. So maybe I can just, I mean, I can definitely get like right up close to underneath my eye. It looks really good. Like shockingly really good. Next she talks about using contour. I do not, I, I don't do that contour life. So I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Translucent Photo Focus Setting Powder. It says dip into your favorite powder and use a patting motion to lay down product for an airbrushed locked in finish. So again, it looks like she's using it like this. Oh, she used the Baby Blendiful for highlight. Maybe I should have done that. Oh well. Dip into your favorite powder. It doesn't really tell you like what side to use, but I suppose I'll just try and like take like this section right here, press it in. Okay, that is the powder. 
see, I'm curious because I use the same thing for foundation. I'm curious if it's going to set down my foundation okay. And I don't know how I feel about it also like mixing with the foundation, you know. How am I gonna set down my concealer? I guess just the same way like that. It really is such a different product to get used to. By this point in doing my makeup, I usually am, have used at least two to three brushes, whereas this I have only had to use one like blendiful. Curious to see if it holds up, like if this method is a better way to apply your powder than with a powder brush. All right, here's my skin. Looks really nice. Here's what the Blendiful looks like. You can definitely tell that I've used this. I would likely wash this for some reason more than my Beauty Blender. Like, I don't know, it just, cause you can see it all on the furs, the hair of this product. Um, I would probably wash it about once a week, which is <laughs> more than I wash my Beauty Blender. And then it also says highlight, but I'm actually gonna do my highlight off camera for another video. So I will be right back with my finished makeup and I will let you know how everything else applied and just my final thoughts on this brand new blendiful product. All right, guys, here's the final look, you guys. Everything went on really nicely. Everything blended really nicely on top of it. I gotta say, I'm actually very, very surprised at this. I did not think that I would be ever interested in a puff like what makeup product comes with a puff, you know, that you actually use. Like usually it's more of like a hard, firm type of thing, not like a soft puff like this. And I also think that the world, like the beauty community did not know how to use a puff like this. So I think Tati is just stepping up her game. Like she is just stepping out of the box of makeup that people are used to, which I love so much because it's introducing the community, the, pop the makeup population to something completely different that you haven't seen a hundred million times by other companies. You know, for a while there, it was like every company was coming out with foundations. For a while there, every company was coming out with eyeshadow palettes. Makeup brands could sometimes copy each other and then they all tend to kind of come out with similar products at the same time. Now, I do not know of another makeup brand that has come out with a product like this. So that to me is just showing me that like she is working and putting out products that she believes in and that work for her and that she's kind of like, wow, this is like a hidden gem that no one talks about. No one knows about this product, which I love. So I love learning about that. I love trying different things. And I think Tati totally blew it out of the park with this one. I cannot wait to do my makeup tomorrow with this. It just makes it so easy. Like the fact that you can blend pretty much anything and use powder with it. I know that some people have used powder with their beauty blender, but I've never been that person. So it's kind of shocking to do it all with one product. I also love that it came with the mini size. The mini size is definitely dense than the bigger size, by the way. But I think this would just be awesome to travel with instead of using this ginormous thing. With having this on this side, you kind of don't get to use this side as much for blending as you would this side. So maybe you could like, I don't know, like turn it inside out and use it on this side and then use this side that's been unused. Maybe that's a good way to do it. Then you can use both sides. You're just kind of like switching the side of this little handle thing. I cannot wait to use this tomorrow. I'm super excited. I'm really glad I have it. I actually might want to order like another one to have for traveling, one for make, one for liquid, one for powder. And then I can have two baby blendifuls, which are just so cute as a little heart. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you had a wonderful day. And let me know if you guys have tested out this brand new blendiful from Tati Beauty. I'd be curious to see what your thoughts are. And I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.